What's going on future content makers and streamers? Ian from Some Poppies here coming at you with a new tutorial today. Today's topic is going to be something a little bit different. It's going to be how to set up and start streaming in less than five minutes. What you're going to need before we get started is OBS downloaded on your computer, which we covered in the previous tutorial. So if you haven't seen that, I'll go ahead and leave a link right there in the description and on the video. Um, you're also going to need a Twitch account and a game that you're going to be playing, preferably full screen. For this game, I'm going to be doing Ark Survival Evolved. It's the game that we're Let's Playing right now, so if you guys want to check out our Let's Play, we will have that in the description below as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open your browser and you're going to want to go to twitch.com. So, yeah, oh, I misspelled Twitch. Okay, let's go ahead and do twitch.tv. It's not twitch.com, twitch.tv. Very important. You're gonna go to your username over here, which you should already have set up and everything. Go to dashboard. Give it a second. Uh, you're gonna go to your stream key. You're gonna show your key. Don't ever show anybody this, because if they see this, they can go ahead and take over your stream. It's not what you want. So you have your stream key. Then we're going to go to our OBS, which in this case, I'm using OBS Studio. You go to settings, stream, paste that stream key right here. And then you want to choose a server that is closest to you. In my case, that's Miami, Florida. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. Then you're going to want to go to your output for your bit rate. I would recommend anywhere from, anywhere from 2000 to 2500. Uh, higher if you have a better connection, lower if you have a not so good connection. Once you get partnered, you can go ahead and do 3,500, but if you're not partnered, this is going to be what's best for you. It makes it easier for people to watch since um, a higher bitrate means you need a better computer and connection to watch it, and not everybody has that. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and set that right here. Encoder software, audio bitrate, uh, encoder preset, these are all fine. You can just keep it the way it is. And you want to enforce the streaming service bitrate limits just so that you don't go above and beyond what they allow, because at that point you're just wasting your bandwidth. Uh, you're going to go to audio. Sample rate should be 4800 kilohertz instead of 44.1 kilohertz. Just makes your audio a little bit better. Your uh, video, you want to set your base resolution to whatever your native resolution is for your monitor. And your output resolution should be 1280 by 720. The reason for this is because you want to be able to make your video easier to watch. Uh, downscale filter, I do by linear, just like in the previous video, simply because it's fastest and it, it taxes my CPU less than the other two. But bicubic is fine too if you want to have a slightly better looking stream and you have the hardware to do so. And you want to make your FPS 30 because of the same reason for your output resolution and what's it called, your bitrate. So, after that, you want to go to your advanced tab. Process priority should be high so that you put as much of your CPU processing power towards your OBS to make sure that you don't drop frames or anything. And your video, recording, stream delay, and automatic reconnect settings are all fine as it is by default. So go ahead and hit apply, hit OK to close that out. Then you want to set your source for your gameplay. So for this, we're going to do game capture due to the fact that we want to capture our gameplay and most games are natively full screen. So these are all okay. You want to limit your frame rate just because you don't want to, you know, capture more than you can actually display. So what's the point? Hit okay. And then you tab to your game so that OBS knows what game it's trying to pick up. After you show the game for a second, you can tab back and on OBS, it should show the game. Bam, there you go. Once you have your game set up and everything, Make sure that your microphone is being picked up. As you can see here, my microphone is going up and down, so that is being picked up. And my desktop audio is going up and down, which means my gameplay is also displaying its audio. Once you've verified all of this, you just go ahead and hit start streaming. Are you sure you want to start the stream? You go ahead and hit yes. Some people might not get that. I think I set it up so that it asks me if I want to or not. Hit yeah, and there you go. You're streaming. Uh, yeah, it's pretty simple to get it started. The hard part is having your overlays, your uh, feedback for subscribers, donations and followers, things like that, uh, setting up your audio levels, playing your own music and so on and so forth. Uh, I can go ahead and cover all of those in a separate video. And I can also go more into detail for like when you get partnered or subscribed or, or not partnered or 
or not subscribe, just partnered. Um, but yeah, just for a general startup, if you want to start streaming in the next like five minutes, all those settings should work for you real quick. It's really not that hard. The hard part really is just networking and making sure that all your settings are, you know, correct and whatnot. So yeah, if you guys like that, feel free to leave a comment letting me know what you thought about it. If anything wasn't too clear, go ahead and let me know. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Same shit as last time. Uh, if you guys find these useful, go ahead and subscribe. We're going to be doing more tutorials later on. I am planning to do them weekly, so I'll be doing different topics like making your overlays, how to apply your overlay, uh, setting up notifications, and so on and so forth. And yeah, it's not too hard. It's pretty easy. It's pretty quick. So go ahead and let me know, guys.